Now, with many people still feeling the impact of inflation, food insecurity is rising at an alarming rate. And the Feeding Texas Network, made up of 21 food banks across Texas, including in the Brazos Valley, is calling on state representatives to increase funding. And our KX Andre Uribe has more. We're seeing a lot more need right now, um, largely due to inflation, uh, rising food costs, rising cost of rent. People are simply struggling to put food on the table and pay for all their other needs. Um, and that and those rising costs are also making it more expensive for food banks to get food in and out the door. So um, our request to the legislature to increase funding for the surplus ag grant comes at a time when we really need to find more food donations in order to keep up with requests for emergency food from our communities. The Brazos Valley Food Bank has been seeing the immediate impact of the lack of funding. We have not been able to supply our partner agencies with what they need to feed the people that come to their doors. And that is not what the food bank is supposed to be about. We're supposed to be able to do that. Um, our food bank is very fortunate that we are able to distribute about 40% of all of the food every month is fresh produce. We weren't able to do that the last couple of months because we're, we're running out of our Texas Department of Agriculture money. With food insecurity becoming a new reality, Texas food banks need a solution. We serve millions of Texans a year, and the way we kind of sort of determine the level of need is the number of requests for food assistance, uh, and that number has gone up uh, over 60% since prior to the pandemic. Andrea Uribe, KAGS News. And Feeding Texas is urging Texans to get involved in helping your local food bank in the fight against hunger. You can learn more about the Brazos Valley Food Bank on their website below.